of the Knights in their road whites. So glad you could join us. We are underway. Manson sends it right in on Flurry, and he's in the game, sticking it to the corner. Silverberg ripped it right back through the crease. Manson pops it into the middle. This is Sam Steele along with Comtois. Steele gets it back, hooked it right back on net, and a left pad save by Flurry. This one rolls up over the net miner and out the other side. I, I thought it might have been in. Of Mark Andre Flurry. A good little regroup in the neutral zone and some nice passing here by the Ducks. Here's the shot, goes off a stick, and then the sharp angle shot rolls down the back of Mark Andre Fleury. The aforementioned Stone back, and now he gets it across the line for Stevenson. Back for Stone, got it on net. Quick little shot, didn't have a lot on it, but it gave Gibson problems. Now Martinez hands it off to his defense partner, Petrangelo. Pinned to the boards by Getzloff. Stone gets it back, and Martinez scores! In front was Pacioretty. I don't know if he got a redirect on it. It's one nothing Vegas. He was able to tie up the stick of Max Pacioretty. We'll get a good look at it from this angle. Yeah, there's the redirect. It's off the shaft of the stick and up into the top corner over the glove of John Gibson. Good quick release. The pass low through Drysdale who laid his stick down. Petrangelo activates, he gets through him. Ducks have numbers. Three on one, possible four on one. To the slot, Raquel hands it off. Comtois scores! Well, the Ducks worked that one to perfection and they've tied the game. Now, this is the thing about Vegas. And Petrangelo gets caught deep and no one is covering for him. And away go the Ducks. Four on one rush and three consecutive passes. And who else but Max Comtois from his favorite spot? Just one times that puck over the outstretched left hand of Flurry, and the Ducks tie this game up. Well, he was a little far from the net there. They obviously don't have much jam. Steele on right wing into the Vegas zone. Circles the net, one hands it from a sharp angle, and that gave Flurry a little bit of trouble. Comtois sniffing around for the rebound. Sloth with a burst of speed into the Vegas zone as it's swept away by Martinez, and Pacioretty coming back will go rink wide and find Petrangelo into the Anaheim zone. The veteran pulls up all the way to the top of the circles. Let's a wrister go. He scores. Oh, what a shot. Petrangelo just looked up, Brian. The season parted. He had a lot of room. He took what he was given. And the Golden Knights have taken the lead back. And everyone's just going to let Petrangelo continue to penetrate. See both defensemen backing up, backing up. Still think that's a shot that John Gibson has got to stop. It's a wrist shot. He is pretty much the top of the circles. It's a 50-50 puck along the end boards. Under 10 seconds in the period. Shattenkirk shot bounces off a leg and then skips right through the blue. Fleury had to be careful not to put it in his own net. Silverberg puts it on goal as the horn sounds. And the period comes to an end as the penalty to Stevenson comes to an end. A little grin on the face of Marc-Andre Fleury. This deflects off a Vegas player and Marc-Andre Fleury was jumping. Whatever team manages to slide into that fourth position, I, I think you can understand why that first round matchup becomes very important. Jan Mark, since his acquisition, no six, as you pointed out, John, recently, Alex Tuck has taken a step. So it's not just the, you know, the top six forwards up front that are getting it done for these guys. White Cloud's backhander, knocked down, and Nicholas Waugh puts it home short side. Wah, who had a goal on Friday, has his first NHL goal from a couple of years ago. It's the second wave of players that create a lot of problems for the Ducks. Wah just jumps right past Alexander Volkov there in a quick little dish. But, you know, he, he's the third man coming down low after Carrier gets control of that puck. And it's a perfect shot up and over the glove. Steele steers it to the far corner. Comtois tied up by Hake, but he wins the puck battle in front for Raquel, who spins and is met up close by Fleury. No, good stop by Marc Andre Fleury. Battle won by Comtois, but Raquel's got his back bad. Tuck catching the Ducks on a change, goes backhand and a right pass saved by Gibson. What a stop. Alex Tuck thought that he had all kinds of room when he took that puck right around John Gibson. And at the opposite end, Alex Tuck, watch how far he moves his puck. And John Gibson gets a powerful push off that left skate blade and extends the right leg. Or excuse me, I should say, have won five in a row in six of their last seven. Oh, 
Yurko nearly stuffed it from behind the net, but Gibson got there in time. Pacioretty just jumped off the bench, got that puck and raced in, but it got the glass. Henrique the other way, drops it for Silverberg. Pulls up and, oh, Fleury was going to his left. I think John Gibson may get a yeah. little piece of that. And right. then here's Jack of Silverberg, younger teammates to kind of pick up that charge. Yanmark dumped in the corner as he was going after that puck by Shattenkirk. It's chipped ahead and now two on two. Heinen and Henrique. Heinen off the wing, scores! Boy, it didn't look like much. Fairly innocuous two on two. Henrique put it on a tee, and Heinen wasted no time. Henrique buys a little time, puts it on a tee, and uh, yeah, you know, Marc Andre Fleury was moving the wrong way on that shot. You can always tell if a goaltender doesn't move into the puck. Mark Andre Fleury stops it behind the net. So the penalty comes with 2.05 remaining in the second, and here's Stone behind the defense. Score! He just outweighted John Gibson, and once again, the Golden Knights have a two goal lead. And look how he uses it to his advantage. What a pass by Theodore. Splits Manson and Fleury, and one shift to the backhand and all the way back to the forehand, and he's just going to stuff it into a wide open net. What a player Mark Stone is. I mean, he is just having a tremendous season for them. A little turnover by the Golden Knights off the faceoff win and a redirect by Steele right into the goal crease and trying to jam it home was Comtois and Fleury, part of his body in the net, but the puck is not. Well, you can't take away a player's creativity, Brian. No. Jams it, it's underneath him, and then he just kind of kneels down and shoves Mark Andre Fleury. With Sam Steele with the redirect, and there's the battle. And a good job by Fleury. Draw to the left of Fleury with just under seven to go in the game. And it's a clean faceoff win. Raquel shot in the glove of Fleury. Great stop. Had to catch it before he could release the shot. See the puck was standing on edge. Added ahead. Nosek couldn't get it out, and it's kept by Comtois. Terry bumped behind the net by Martinez. The puck battle ensues. Nosek comes out of the corner with it. Ahead to Tuck, who does get around Raquel. Now he's got an empty net, and he hits it. With just a minute 27 to go, Alex Tuck finally gets on the score sheet. Uh, Anaheim just couldn't really get full control of the puck in the offensive zone, and eventually Alex Tuck realized he had Ricard Raquel back, so a forward, so he just kind of Golden Knights willing to watch these last few seconds whittle away as Manson holds on to it, flips it away, and that'll do it. The hockey game is over this afternoon at Honda Center. The Vegas Golden Knights have given Marc-Andre Fleury.